hello guys you're welcome back to my youtube channel i'm gonna be showing you people how to dry your catfish this is the catfish i have just harvested them i showed you where they were being removed from the pond and i've just finished washing it i had to put salt in it and wash them very well so you can see that it does not have that um, slippery or drawing texture anymore on the body so now i'll be using this tin cutter piercing to pierce the fish when i pierce it i give it a hole and i'll then and i'll just pick this stick and put it i have to do this stick so that i'll be able to pierce it through the fish see the way i'm doing it You have to pass it through make sure it pass through because if it does not pass through it will not hold the fish so this I'll then put it here I pick another one you can see how these fishes are they are very big fishes again the same method I also have the fresh one in the pond still remaining so this is how I'm going to be drying this fish when I put it like this for a big fish you have to get a stick that will match it and this stick I had already sharpened the mouth so that I can be able to pierce it through the fish You hold your fish this way and bend it very well so these are live catfish that is caught from the pond you can see how they come out <laughs> and I'm gonna be using my local this is charcoal. I'm going to be using it to dry the fishes. I am going to be putting the fish on top of this tray. I'll place them there and the hotness of the charcoal is going to be the one drying the fishes. So here you can see that I'm placing the fishes on the tray and the charcoal inside you can see the flame coming out. That's how it's going to be burning till all the charcoal turns red and the fishes here now they are still fresh they are not yet dried but after some while you will see that the whole color will turn and the fishes will get dried so i'll still be placing the fishes If you love this video thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel like and also share my video with your friends and families i'm still going to be piercing so many because the whole of this tray is going to be filled up <clears throat> the fishes have different sizes big sizes and small size a big size and a small size whichever one your money can buy you can always contact me and i'll be there to deliver good services for you they are being sold for cheaper rate anyway they are not very expensive because this is from my farm enjoy watching this video you're going to be enjoying it because i'm going to show you how to use a local way to dry your catfish
can see how big these fishes are. These are my farm fishes. I read them myself. I enjoy doing all this myself. And I'm so happy having a farm. You can see those ones inside the fire. And that's my local charcoal. I use a local way to dry it because it tastes sweeter and it dries very well when doing it this way. It can last for three to four months without getting spoiled or even more than four months without getting spoiled when you dry it this way. So you can see how the fishes are. I'm now going to be closing this. I'll use this pan to cover it so that it will heat very well. You can see the fishes. going to be covering it and now I'm also going to be covering this also this is so that the heat will not be escaping the heat will have to penetrate the body of the fish very well and I'll pick some little stones and just put just to wedge it so that breeze will not carry it off. Here is the local way of drying your catfish. You can see the fire burning, the charcoal. So I'm now going to be lifting up the zinc and check the fishes. So I'll be turning the fishes. The zinc is very hot so you have to pull something to remove it. I'm sprinkling this water is so that if it was coming in the in the tray it will be easy for me to lift it up and change the position You can see that I've just turned the fish. This is a new set that is put on fire, and the dried ones are being shifted to one corner so that the heat will still be touching them for them to get real dried.